space for it, please pay attention to the screen. Our digital avatar Aya will give you a briefing soon. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings everyone. My name is Aya. I'm a digital president of the Museum of the Future. Welcome to my home. Like everything you see here, I was envisioned by the Dubai Future Foundation and brought to life by storytellers, visionary technologists, and artists from around the world. My intelligence infuses this building and empowers every exhibit it holds. As you voyage to the future, I will be your guide. The words that you will encounter are not predictions, they are challenges. Your task is to explore and return with discoveries that can help the present. My intelligence can take in many forms, from light to sound. You'll find me most often as my avatar. Isn't she cute? Your journey begins in a very special place and time, Hamid the Rajan Spaceport. February 2071. The launch is about to start. Follow me. This way, please.
أكبر محطة مدارية صنعها الإنسان ومن أعظم إنجازات البشرية. This magnificent edifice, Orbital Space Station Home, is the largest orbiting structure ever built and one of humanity's greatest achievements. للمحطة وظائف متعددة أهمها أنها مركز القيادة لمشروع نظام الطاقة الشمسية سول. سول هو الاسم الذي اطلقناه على المشروع العالمي المشترك لتزويد الارض بالطاقة الشمسية المستمدة لـ many functions but its most important is as the command center for the Seoul project. Seoul is the code name for a global effort to power the earth using solar energy collected from space. يشكل حزام الطاقة الكهروضوئية القمرية الركيزة الأساسية لهذا النظام. يتألف الحزام من ألواح شمسية تدور حول القمر على مسافة أكثر من 10,000 كيلومتر. تتحول الطاقة الشمسية التي تجمع الألواح إلى إشعاع من الطاقة الكهربائية. ثم ينتقل ذلك الإشعاع الليزر. إعادة توجيه إشعاع الليزر نحو الأقمار الاصطناعية التي تدور حول الأرض. At the heart of this system is the Lunar Photovoltaic Belt. This belt of solar panels circles the moon, extending for over 10,000 kilometers. The solar energy collected in the panels is converted into laser beams of electric energy. These lasers beam towards a network of deflectors and satellites. The deflectors redirect None of this would be possible without OSS Hope. It is the centerpiece and command station for the entire Seoul project in humanity's home. And my operator Sandra will explain you throughout. Thank Hello you, Sandra. everyone. I welcome one more time. Please just join me here for a few moments. So you're now standing in the heart of OSS Hope. At this in front of you, it's a live stream of our beautiful Earth from the station, showing the Seoul environment, solar climate changes that are happening on Earth. You'll be able to return to this later to see all the changes that are happening. But for now, we're going to ask you to join us here. So this one represents the one to the pioneers. It was a year for the people of UAE to the first pioneers to the this one. And represent our solar system. You can see the planets orbiting around the sun. And you can find the Earth. Earth is the third planet in our solar system. This might serve us also to commemorate and to remember all the people who lost their life in the space in the name of the science. And if you take one step back on that side of the monument, on the panels on the side down, you'll find the engraved the name of all those astronauts along with the names of their missions. So here behind you there is an interactive station, and on these stations you can find more information about their missions and inventions that are done here on the OSS4 by scanning your wristband. So you just need to scan the wristband on the panels on the station to learn more. If you have any questions, we'll be here to assist you.